So in this video, I want to talk about how to cut holes, punch holes, make holes in objects for things like windows or door frames. And we're going to do that with the Boolean modifier. So what you can see here on my screen is maybe what might be an isometric room. We got a couple walls and maybe we want to add some windows to this object. So to do that, we're going to create something with the same silhouette as our window or door frame. In this case, I'm just going to add a cube. I'm going to move it up a little bit and maybe I'll stretch it out in the X direction, make it a little bit longer. Then what we want to do, we want to rename this object. Now that's particularly important if you have a lot of objects in your scene, because you're going to have to find this in a drop down menu. So to do that, we're going to come over here to this little square and up at the top, we can rename this and I'm just going to call this window hole something like that. And then I'm going to take this and move it over so that it intersects my wall where I want it and line it up however you want. Uh, we're going to be using a modifier, so it's non destructive. So we'll be able to move this around as we go. Next, I'm going to click on my wall object. I'm down to my wrench. And I'm going to add a modifier. The modifier I want to add is the Boolean modifier, which is right here in the second column in the generate column. Now, when we do that, by default, it's set at the difference option, which is what we want to punch a hole into it. We then need to select the object that's going to make that hole. So if I click here, and I'm going to select the window hole. And that's why you can see if you have a lot of objects, all your objects are going to show up in that list. And so having it carefully named is really useful. Now, if you look at this, nothing much has happened. But if we select the cube and press H to hide it, we can now see that we have a perfectly cut hole in our wall. If I press Alt H, it'll come back. Now, if I move this block around, you still don't see the hole because the hole is following this object. Now, there's two ways to get around that. The first would be to come back to our wall, our modifier, and here we can click on the modifier, we can click apply. If we do that, we can then move this object and we have a hole. And then we can move this object around and use it to cut other holes of the same size. Now, a second option, if you want to have some more flexibility, maybe you were wanting to resize this window or move it around as you add other things to your scene, you don't want to apply the modifier and make it a permanent change. What you can do is click on the window hole object, come over to the little square once again, and then down here on visibility, you can turn off the show in viewport and it won't show there. And importantly, if you're going to be making a render of your scene later, you can turn it off in the renders. Then up at the top here, you can see that our window hole object has been grayed out because it's not visible. If you want to move it, resize it later, simply select it here in the scene collection, come back down and turn it on in the viewport and you can resize it, turn it back off in the viewport and your window size will change. So there you go. Another modifier, the Boolean modifier. In this case, we used it to cut a hole in a mesh with another mesh.